so well participants we discuss about hypothesis says the meaning characteristics and the process of framing hypothesis says for the solution of various research problems here in this class today we are to discuss about research without hypothesis says means in all types of research in all fields of research hypothesis says are not important when we follow quantitative research methodology for the interpretation and analysis of quantitative research data we are to depend on hypothesis says but when we follow qualitative research methodology there is no question of or there is no importance of you see hypothesis or there is no need to frame hypothesis says when we follow qualitative research methodology for the solution of our research problem and that's why here in this class you will certainly come to know about you see how we can continue research or complete research without depending on or without the formation of hypothesis or hypothesis at the same time in the second part of the same class you will come to know about the sources of hypothesis means why hypothesis are important and why not hypothesis why hypothesis why not hypothesis if we are to frame hypothesis then what are the sources we are to discuss today and if there is no need to frame hypothesis then how we can you see solve our research problem we are to discuss here let us see though hypothesis says play very important roles or five hotel roles in database or quantitative resource works in qualitative resource hypothesis play less important roles it means in brief in quantitative resource we must have to frame hypothesis but when we follow qualitative resource methodology that means in qualitative resource there is no question of framing hypothesis says in a sense qualitative resource works are accomplished or completed without any hypothesis says let us see the next let us see as for example in historical and descriptive resource studies the researchers do not try to make any prediction in in the field of science the issue of prediction arises the issue of prediction arises but in the field of you see social sciences say as for example in the field of historical in the field of history or historical studies in the field of philosophy or philosophical studies there is no question concerning to you see prediction researchers you need not you you are not to you see predict anything else in the field of philosophical research in the field of historical research as you see qualitative research methodologies are followed in such areas for the solution of the problems selected problems the issue of framing hypothesis does not arise the researchers means they simply try to find out the historical facts in the field of history and try to analyze the position of variable in their present settings or positions in such research the researchers do not try to make any prediction if you are doing research in the field of history if you are doing research in the field of literature if you are doing research in the philosophy field of philosophy you need not to you see predict anything else simply you are to explain the data 
as well as you are to say its relevance or significance or import importance in the present situation logically by analyzing the resource data qualitative resource data you are to say about the present situation means by studying the past you are to say about the present you need not to say about the future means there is no question of prediction they simply means the researchers means you simply try to logically summarize the data that are collected in the form of experiences these are the you see sources of data when qualitative resource methodology is followed when you are doing research in the field of history in the field of literature in the field of philosophy then for the collection of data you are to depend on your own experiences you are to depend on your own explanations as well as you are to depend on the textual information which are available in your own field or in your fields therefore in such type of studies means historical studies philosophical studies then studies in the field of literature the researchers are to de define the objectives in a very systematic manner or way and they are to go forward accordingly towards the logical summarizations or conclusions of their research works means instead of framing hypothesis says you when you are to do research or you are if you are doing research in the field of history in the field of philosophy in the field of literature in the field of cultural studies your objectives are to be scientifically selected and depending on the experiences textual information as well as depending on the present you see explanations or data you are to summarize your ideas your perceptions in the form of conclusion for the solution of your own research problem or your research problems here you see in the words of mohana kumar this is one word mohana kumar research can be carried out even without framing either a descriptive hypothesis or a statistical hypothesis provided it proceeds on well defined specific objectives we can without hypothesis continue research we can complete research but in such situation we are to select the objectives totally scientifically in such a case the result of the study has to be interpreted in terms of some classical eminent studies in the area means we have to depend on the saying as well as explanations of some of the great people of the world and depending on their views you are to summarize your ideas you are to come to the concluding stage or level of your research suppose as for example you are doing research or you are making or you are doing research the title of area is you see women empowerment views of vivekananda on gandhi what you are to do in such situation you are to study vivekananda so much well you are to study the views of gandhi so much well and then support by summarizing the viewpoints of gandhi and vivekananda you are to conclude your own views you are to put or place your own interpretation very systematically and scientifically so that you can conclude your research findings so much well without you see without without any problem without any difficulty let us see the next one the term now let us see we have come to know about the importance of hypothesis in research how hypothesis are to be framed what are the specialities or special characteristics of hypothesis 
Then we have come to know about uh, research without hypothesis. And now let us see what are the sources for the UC formulation of hypothesis is when there is the need of hypothesis or hypothesis is particularly when we follow you see uh, quantitative resource methodology or we are to depend on quantitative resource data we need hypothesis we are to depend on hypothesis in such situation how to you see frame the hypothesis says what are those sources the term source let us see the meaning means a place person or thing from which something originates Sources of hypothesis is generally mean the person or thing from which hypothesis, a, hypothesis is are framed. Mental activities of the researchers, intellectual exercises of the researchers, intuitive power of the researchers have special importance in the process of hypothesis formulation. Means your insight, your intuition, your knowledge, these are the sources depending on which be, you can you see frame your own hypothesis for the solution of your own research problem. Let us see the next one. The power of cognition means the power of understanding, the power of you see cognition helps to a great greater extent in the process of hypothesis formulation means your intuitive power your insight your cognitive power your experiences your knowledge your volume of study these are the sources you see on which you are to depend on for the formulation or for framing your hypothesis and here in this you see level the review of related literature or research literature and observations and experiences of the researcher are the main sources of hypothesis formulation. Means the significance of review arises here because you see in your study, in one chapter certainly you write just you see review of related literature why we are to review the related literature for two things we are to do this why number one review of related literature basically helps us to know what has already been done in your own area and it in the second it helps us to know what is left to be done or what is left for doing yet. And as a researcher, the second point is very much important. Review of related literature basically helps us to know what has already been done in the specific area where you are to do your research. And in the second place, it helps us or it, it helps you to know what is left to be done. And the left to be done part is very much important and you are to put importance on the second part. And by analyzing the review or the literature, you can get the clues how to formulate your own research hypothesis for the solution of your own research problem. Above all, sources of hypothesis above all these means the experiences the intuitive intuitive power the cognitive efficiency the knowledge parameter the review of interpretation and analysis of the literatures above all these established theories on existing stock of knowledge are the other sources of hypothesis formulation we have to study the existing theories we have to study the other sources of knowledge because research is, a, is an extensive study. Research is a very technical study. Research is a very scientific exercise. And here in this, you see in research, your knowledge, your insight, your intuitive power, your cognitive efficiency, as well as interpretation and analysis, analysis of the literatures and then support the explanations, interpretations, thorough analysis of the established theories 
on the existing stock of knowledge of your own area. These are the sources for the formulation of your research hypothesis. Therefore, friends, to frame hypothesis, thorough analysis of the research literatures in the form of review of related literature and observations as well as researchers' experiences, intuitive power, knowledge, insight, and you see his inquisitiveness, etc. have special significance. On depending on all these important parameters, basically we formulate hypotheses for the solution of our own research problem when there is the necessity or demand of hypotheses. And when there is no necessity of framing hypotheses, then depending on the experiences, depending on the textual studies, depending on our own knowledge, we can by analyzing the views of the great personalities, sociologists, psychologists, educationists, scientists, we can go to the, you see, concluding level of our own study and this way we can report the solution of our own research problem. Thank you so much friends. You have certainly come to know here in this class why and how hypotheses are to be framed, why hypotheses are important, where these are important, how hypotheses are to be framed, what are the sources of framing hypotheses and then support why not hypotheses. If not, then what we are to do? You have come to know so much well and by paying proper attention towards all the explanations, certainly your ideas and doubt will be clear enough and you will certainly be able to go forward for the solution of your own research problem. Thank you so much.